Welcome back to another episode of Mirai Club. It's been a long time and I'm back at the UCI station. I did not check the status before I came here. Um, and it looks like it's undergoing maintenance. So we'll be uh, down for a bit, who knows how long. Um, Diamond Bar, last time this happened, it was down for about two weeks. I'm not sure, but this is the UCI station. So now we're gonna head toward uh, the Costa Mesa location on Bristol, 2.1 miles away, which seems to be our only option in the somewhat somewhat nearby seems a little spotty but here we go let's head over to bristol um then i do want to get to the topic at hand hydrogen what's the future of it given the elec election results all right sorry about the wind noise but we got to the station on bristol in uh right off of bristol and baker um, South Coast Plaza is just along that way. This is the Chevron. Uh, but yes, uh, we're about to fill up the other one. The UCI one was offline. I did not check uh, if it was on online yet, but uh, I was close enough, so I was like, took my chances. But this one is not too far away from that. But I'm gonna fill up now. And I do wanna talk about the topic at hand, which is uh, pretty much the effects of the election. Um, what could it mean for alternative fuel vehicles and electric vehicles? As I fill up this hydrogen car um, and given certain um, things that are promised in terms of more oil being uh, pulled out of the ground for, um, for the US, I guess locally or um, on uh, U.S. soil. Then, just so everyone knows, prices are at thirty-six dollars a kilogram. Um, but yes, what does that mean for alternative fuel vehicles, especially the hydrogen car? Um, Yes, uh, more oil is apparently going to get uh, pulled out with a heavy campaign support from Elon. Uh, what does that mean in terms of EVs? I assume, generally speaking, probably favorable um, things happening from the EV market just because of that relationship there. Um, and with that being said, what's going to happen to these things? Or vehicles that do use hydrogen. I know there was some local news updates from San Diego, just south of here, um, about a bus line that a, I believe, northern San Diego County city is going to be using um, hydrogen powered buses to test out. Really curious how that goes. And based on the interview that I saw, uh, the transportation commissioner of that town, um, did seem to bet long term on hydrogen. So really curious how that's gonna play out. Uh, it seems like on the commercial side, hydrogen vehicles are um, still a potential viable option and source. But in terms of the consumer grade stuff, like this, the Mirai, uh, the Nexo, which is pretty much the only two cars at this point, Honda has, teased um, a hydrogen SUV in the coming year or so, but we'll see if that happens. But share your thoughts. I'm curious what y'all think. Put a comment below on what you think is gonna be, how the next four years of this presidential um, series is going to affect the hydrogen market, or is it gonna affect, change the trajectory at all? Uh, but I'd be curious what everyone's thoughts are. Um, just wanted to open up the forum as a hydrogen car owner myself and also just just intrigued of how the landscape is going to turn out um, so yeah let me know what you think let's continue filling had about 80 miles left of range uh, so let's see how much is gonna be charged for this fill I estimate it's gonna be around a hundred probably 40 ish dollars but currently it still is sitting at 36 dollars a kilogram 
and Air Products, uh, as far as I know, is still maintaining their price at around um, $38 a kilogram. All right, so 107, 2.977 kilograms of hydrogen. Let's go to this. See how much range that gives us. And that gives us not a full tank. All right, 285. Um, I'm just going to top it off. So let's do this again. So 107 was the first total. I thought we were over these uh, small hiccups, but just the little nuances of owning a hydrogen car. Good thing there's no line, or else I would feel kind of bad. Um, I feel like if you own a hydrogen car, you probably have an idea of what's going on if you see someone filling up twice. But 107 is the current total. No, I don't want a receipt. It's going to ask me for my zip code. Quite windy in SoCal. Let's see. Pump is ready. Let's see how much this fills up. So, if my prediction is correct, 140 total, uh, it should be around $30. That's what I do suspect this will be. Again, this is on Baker in Bristol. This is the station in Costa Mesa. There are two pumps right here. That's all you get. So you have four nozzles total. Finished filling, $22. So just about 130 total. Let's see if that gets us a full tank of hydrogen. And we just filled up 0.6 kilograms. Okay. Spoke to that gentleman there. He got his 2022 Mirai Limited for 15 grand, and that includes a fuel card for 15 grand. You do the math. There we go. But we just finished filling. Let's see what that got us. And that, our second fill got us almost full. Okay, we're full. 328 is the range.